did another modification to my Prusa Mini Plus. It's an LED light bar. And I'll put a link to the description where you get the stuff at. Uh, it's 3D printed files. And then the guy that has the files that maintains them, he also sells a kit. And he also gives you a parts list. You could source all the parts yourself if you wanted to. Uh, for my money, when you start looking at the, the parts list, uh, you, there's like clear things. They have to be cut. There's an aluminum channel that fits in here. It has to be cut. Uh, wires. Uh, there are wires that have terminations on them that are already made to be like the perfect size. Uh, brass inserts. And you may have to go to one or two or maybe even three places to source this. And by the time you order all of it and uh, pay shipping, maybe at some places, there's no way probably that you could get it for less than $25, which is his cost. So I strongly recommend getting the kit. Uh, I did a modification to his kit though. <coughs> Excuse me, the wires come out uh, around the switch area here. And then I just ran them into a barrel adapter this is a barrel adapter here. You uh, plug your positive and your negative into here and then hook it to a 5.5 millimeter um, adapter. I had a brick from another piece of old electronics equipment that I don't use anymore, which was 24 volts and one amp. So and it had a 5.5 millimeter adapter on it, which is perfect. So I just went ahead and printed a barrel adapter. I got it off of Thingiverse a uh, barrel adapter holder, I guess I should say. And then I just wired the lights into the barrel adapter and plugged it in. If you use his kit, it uh, you have to go onto the main board, uh, jumper, the main 24 volt power, and then add this to the ground. And it flickers if you go that way because the heat bed, if you see the blinking light right there, it causes the lights to flicker. And that actually didn't bother me at all. I just thought it would be nice to uh, do it in a manner to where it was like completely removable. I could take this off the printer uh, real easy. And of course, you could do it the other way as well, too. But I don't like messing with the main board if I don't have to. So um, that's it. Neat modification now I can see. And that's what it's all about.